name, Father, the Son, Lord, the Son, Lord. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of our faithful, and kindle them in the fire of the Lord. Send forth the Spirit, and we shall be prayed. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let's pray. O oh God, who has instructed the hearts of the faithful, may the lights of the Holy Spirit, grant us with the gift of the Holy Spirit, we may be always truly wise and ever to the just in this consolation. For Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. For the Mary, our hearts of the Lord. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. Filled with awe and great joy, the woman came quickly from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there coming to meet them was Jesus. Greetings, she said. And the women came up to him and falling down before him, clasped his feet. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave to Galilee. You will see me there. And they were on their way, some of the dark went off into the city to tell the chief priests all that had happened. This held a meeting with the elders, and after some discussion, handed a considerable sum of money to the soldiers with his instructions. This is what you must say. The disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And should the governor come to hear of this, we undertake to put things right with him ourselves and to see that you do not get into trouble. The soldiers took the money and carried out their instructions. And to this day, that is the story I wanted this. So as you can see, this fake news was since biblical times. So this thing of revisionist uh, history is already there. They want to cover the truth. But then, uh, our Lord had conquered this morning as inside the priest in his uh, homily talk about hope. Because this is the message of Easter. Pope Francis told us that we are Easter people. The people of Easter, meaning. And the question for us regarding death is answered in our faith. Through death, we start life. So our Lord conquered death, resurrected. So what is the worst evil that could happen on earth? For you and me, it's going to be the end of our life. But we are given hope. And then he said that hope and optimism are two different things. Because with optimism, actually, you can buy optimism. You attend a seminar about optimism. There's so many of that have been online, no? But hope is different because hope is anchored upon God. Just to be an optimist, uh, Father God was telling us that well, if you have five million, you'll be an optimist, no? With five million, you can do a lot. But well, it's not optimism because you can get sick. Eh? No amount of money can pay for heaven. No? But hope is different because knowing that even after this life, you will have a life of eternity. But that hope is based on God. So we hope on God. We don't hope on other things besides God. There's a difference between hope and optimism. And Easter opens us that in our faith. That's why St. Paul said, If God, if Jesus Christ, had not resurrected, then vain is our faith. Why commit not to go to what we know? What? 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 Hindi naman ang sulti nga, hindi ka matay na ito. Panhaw ka. Kung ito na, pantay mo yung kalinda. Kung ito matay yung palinti, then, usually after 40 days, di ba, mag-hubkas. No? And then, di hapag yung pakwe. Di ba? Di hapag yung pakwe. Kung ito matay sa mong papa, yung palinti kami, no? So, I asked my mom, ano mag-hikay mo ito? Of course, my mother could have answered it, no? If you say, I see what I'm not going to do, I'm going to get there. I was trying to pull. The leg was trying to feed me. It's a good budget. I have a good account. I'm going to go and eat it. I'm going to come on. That's why, you know, so we believe that like our Lord, after 40 days, no? So he will accept to have it. He resurrected, he stayed with the apostles for 40 days, and on 40 days, he went to the temple. So that is why our faith is, no? Our hope is based on that. Let's go to the top of the circle. 
of the circle is the will of God. So we pray in our Father, Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So probably we made this petition to our Father you know, several times a day. In the rosary today, on the way coming here, we pray the rosary. So easily you have ten our fathers. And this is the, let's say, the summary of this talk in the circle. The key to open the kingdom of heaven, Father said in the way it's been fight for, we fight it, we don't patten, patris, me go in chelusis, if set in rabbit, red young chelolo. He translated in the way. No? He who does the will of my father, he shall enter heaven. So, katong ni mo sa kabubuton sa amahan, more malangit. Well, we are here now to be the circle. Because you want to be among those who enter the heavenly kingdom, I suppose. Now, if you do not know the will of God, you don't know how to follow God's will. We cannot do it. Wag ibaw sa kisugo sa mga mani mo, batang ang may iba. That happened to me, no? Bunalan ko when I was a big one. I usu ko ng magic magic, iba na gitit. Itong suka, the usual, no? The hot swim bando, na hindi nang tambal. Uy, naman ito mo na na, no? Iapa sa buna, iapa sa buna, no? So, wala na kalimut sa gisugo. So, many times, that would happen to us, no? This morning, just before coming here, after lang, I was interviewing a parent, applicant inside, no? I reminded him of the Easter obligation of Christians, which you and I have to tell our know, relatives. It's not obligation. That is where we can find the will of God. The will of God can be found in the teaching of the church, in our prayer, mostly in our prayer, and in the everyday circumstances that happens in our life. No? So, if we do not know what's the will of God for us, specifically, because we can find out. So, why did God create me at this time? I don't know, 1975, could have born, been born in 1940s, or I could have been born in, or will be born in 1975, no? but I was born in this context, in this time, meaning God called me in this time, in this context, in the world. I could have been an American, no? or I don't know, a Kenyan, for example. No? God made me a Filipino. I mean, by myself, I did not will it. And God wills it. No? Like will. No? Very nice name. Will. But I'm very reminded of will. No? So, try to enter by the narrow door. What are you going to do? 13 is before. But, if you think of it, the effort is not so hard. Actually, no? Some people think it's going to be so hard. Of course, we have to make an effort to do things that go against our tendency. And what is that? Do not think. So, a pleasure, I attended also my circle this morning, and then that one who gives a talk told us about, you know, gravity affects. They found out in this study, so there's the scientists who explain, you know, gravity to five different kinds of people, you know, explain it to a grade one, a school learner, you know, explain it to Somebody who was an engineer and then explained it to a one with a doctorate. Yeah, I think that's the first one with the doctorate. So, we turn on. I took it and turn on it. That's part of the wheel of that. That's part of the wheel of that. Thank you. Thank you. So, of course, we have to make an effort to do things. That's our tendency. So, the whole idea is that Gravity affects all of us, and then we found out that gravity is not linear. Gravity is a curvature because the, the world, the, the Earth, is curved, so it affects different parts of gravity. So it affects the mass of the person. You know Thank you. Oh, Okay, thank you. So, what do you want to do with your hands? 
Wala pa rin po, sir. Ah, mauli. Sa iPhone, nausap na eh. Kasi ako dito ka. Okay lang. Oo. Ganun lang, Nihon. Ganun lang, Nihon. Ganun lang. Ano niya? Napawang siya. Mga siguro 5 minutes. Sige, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, sige, thank you. So, back to this, no? So, St. Paul uses hard words. He promises that the Christian will have a hard life. A life of risk, a constant tension. So, our father said, how we disfigure Christianity if we try to turn it into something nice and comfortable? It's very true. I mean, the sign of the cross, the sign of the Christian. But yet, people, they pray a lot, no? That they will have good health, they don't have problems. <laughs> so, not knowing that whatever God gives, it's a will of God. But neither, it's also true to think that this deep serious way of life, this only bound up with other people to make it, is something full of anguish, oppression, or fear. Father said in his homily, Christ is passing by. So, as children, as we said, no? we learn from our mothers. Later, maybe because of our ECB classes, We know that the will of God primarily is communicated in the Ten Commandments. Because our Lord said, John 14, 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. I was giving a, a, a big sum you know, for third year of waiting students. They failed in the BCB of Mr. Hapani. And then the BCB was commandment. So I asked that guy, oh, Say the thing one means that guy is at his head. And you wonder you are at it. So the summary is if, oh, I can't give out a focus on go. So I'm not going to go to the focus on go. And you know, claro, okay, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, keep my commandments. But aside from the ten commandments, God has a very specific plan for each one of us. He does not ask the same for everyone. That's why some are priests. Diba? For sure. We cannot become nuns. Why? Specification na lahat naman tayo. So this is the explanation of the present father. He wrote a long letter. You can read it at uh, opusday.org. And he explains the vocation for each member of Opus Day. And even for the cooperators. Why are you a cooperator? Why are you a numerary member, an associate member, a super numerary member? The father explains that, no, that it is God who calls us. That's a vocation. So we are called to exist. So we are called actually to come here in this life. And then once we are called to existence, God gives us a mission. The mission is what is the reason why you are here on earth? You are called to existence, but why did God call you? God called you to existence because He gives you something to do that you are the only one who could do. Which is very true. Diba? Imagine, you having two children. You are the only one who could make the children appear here. Otherwise, you would not be here. God called you for a very specific reason. That is part of the will of God. So when we see things in the context of faith, we begin to see the meaning of things. How come it is like this? Some people, they complain a lot. Diba? They can complain about everything else. No? Even the weather, the situation, things that have come their way, or... I don't know, so even this uh, coming election, <laughs> so many things, people complain to so many things. That always is, where can I see the will of God in all these things? <laughs> Now, what is the will generally for everyone else? We we'll live in Thessalonians 1, 4, 3. This is the will of God. Then here in the Bible, it says, your sanctification, which means you and I are called to go to heaven. God called you. Passion. He give you a mission, something that you have to do on this earth, specifically just for you. But all of us are called to go to heaven. All of us are called to become holy. God expects a lot from us. Nothing less than the perfection of our love. I don't know if it's Pope Francis who said it or Pope Benedict. God created it without a part. There is no other heart in the world that could love God the way your heart could love. And in fact, your heart cannot be replaced by any other heart. God could be loved by so many millions of people, other people, but your heart that loved God cannot be substituted for any other heart. You look at it, wow, 
be very special. Of course you are. Hare Jai, otherwise, that would not have put it to existence. That's why the only reason that could be given why God became man is not God. The very reason. You see that in 1995, no, what do you think? For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, Jesus Christ, taken from St. John. That is the reason. No? Could have, you should have seen that in Easter time. He spent Easter while only week in Easter. You see, oh, this is really amazing. That's why now, if you attend Mass, we sing Hallelujah. No? In the reading of the Mass, the whole of Octave, after the whole of Easter, thanks be to God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And then the people will respond, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Meaning, Hail, Hail, Hail. Why? Because God already conquered death. Darkness became light. If you attended the Easter vigil, very beautiful, you know? The light was taken from the Easter candle and the star of the left, and the whole church suddenly enlightened. Then there, you, know, you see the light, the light to the world is harder. So God's will comes to us in the most ordinary circumstances of our lives. But above all, in the circumstances we are here, put our friends, our families, specifically in the sacraments, in confession, in the spiritual direction, we may chat with the priest. Some of you have attended the retreat. You may talk to the priest, no? Specifically, you know, one guy was saying, well, some people, they go to confession only once a year during Easter, you know? Only week later, you have a piece of paper, you have an exam, you know? They go to a year, you have a paper, you have a That's why it's important to do the exam music. And it is there, the exam music, you know, you know, that we get to see also the way you look if you notice, especially if you go to confession to the priest of Opus Dei, you receive a spiritual direction after your confession. Not after, but within the confession. After saying all your sins, then the priest will tell you something. And that's something that's really specific for you. That's very important you know, to go to a specific spiritual director. But you go often because he gets to know your soul. And it's easier. No? Well, I suppose all of us, no? we receive our faith from our families. We are born Catholics. And if you read that Steve Ray, if you listen to that repeat, no? Steve Ray was saying, no, I, I don't know, I'm Catholic because I was born in, in Protestant. <laughs> I learned only Catholics from Protestant. That's why I feel bad. <laughs> and then his mom, no, but then once he started studying, he gets to see the will of us. This is the will of God for me. No. So we were born in a Catholic family. And maybe later, later on, or a friend, or even a relative, we discovered that God was asking more for us. You know, it's not a coincidence that uh, they're silent, no? Because if Don Alvaro did not come to Cebu, we will not be here. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Imagine you know, the faithfulness of Don Alvaro. Well, imagine if he did not put up sight, we will not be here. I will not be a teacher in sight, for sure, because I will not be teaching that. I will be teaching as a school in a public school, look. And, you know, Val, you get to know Val. Why? Because he will not go to some books. <laughs> and then we will not even all of the convergence of everything that happens in our life has something to do with each one answering the will of God. So, God is asking us to be closer to Him. That's part of His way. Where? First and foremost, Second, chat with the priest. That's why spiritual direction is very important. So what's the difference between spiritual direction and confession? In confession, we can say our I did this, I did this three, four times. But in the chat with the priest, you don't talk about the circumstances. And if you look at this, how you have a book is a long time, chat sa pari. And if you look at this, how you have a chat sa pari, you don't have a sacrament. Confession, you know, is being received. What happened? What was your disposition? You just say your sin. That's it. You no know, explaining. You just say your sin and then the soul is dead. But in the chat, you get to somehow analyze things, understand things, and then you get to see the light. Why? Because what happens in confession? You receive sacrament of grace. Grace enlightens the mind and strengthens the will. That's what happened. That's why after the retreat, you're fully charged. You know? One director said, no, so if one offense a retreat, that's grace good for six months. 
Good for you. Me spiritual, you know? so after the retreat, you are in a spiritual high, you know? So you see things clearly. You know? That's why it's good no, to attend a retreat once a year, a correction once a month, a circle once a week, confession once a week, chat with the priest once a week. Possible, no? I mean, it's just part of possible. Why? Because this is the thing that I do with Opus Dei. That's why our priests are trained. No? So even if you go to the priest's confession every week, people are complaining. Like some side guys who graduate now, yeah. Official and then they'll approach every week. The club of party, what is she doing? But you know, I understood. I want to become holy, you know, as a layman. What? You know, what do you think about holy as a layman? Because that understanding of me trying to become holy in the middle of the world is not yet spread all over the world. See, one and that's part of the way we got as co creators. I have to spread the teaching that you and I have to become holy in the middle of the world during our ordinary life. But where we get to see finally the will of God, clearly, is in our prayer. That's why it's important to meditate. Especially if you want to make a very big decision, whatever the decision would be, you know, it's to bring it to prayer, you know, so that when you will be asked, oh, what is it that we decided? Well, I prayed about it. Now oh, things are very clear. I brought it up to God. I consulted God about it, and I so, so when we decide things in prayer, most likely, even if you commit a mistake, it may not be a sin if you bring it to prayer. Because if you bring things to prayer, you will see: is this according to the will of God, or is this against the will of God? No, in as a will against the will of God, you know, it's just a sin. If you push through with it, well. Right. It's with clarity that, that you did not do the will of God. In the 406, 7, 7, these are the words of Saint Jose Maria. He said, summarizing this means that we get to see the will of God. He said, The Lord sowed good seed in your soul. He stated he's talking to us, each one of us here. And for that sowing of eternal life, he used the powerful means of prayer. You cannot deny that often, while you are in front of the tabernacle, face to face with our Lord, He made you hear in the depths of your soul that He wanted you for Himself. He has also used the supernatural advice and suggestions of your director, who has insistently repeated to you things that you cannot ignore. At the beginning, too, in order to deposit the good seed in your soul, He used that noble friend of yours who told you some home truths which were filled with the love of God. True enough. I suppose every one of us had that experience. So, the same thing with me. I was supposed to teach in the Mandawi City Public School. Because they only gave me an appointment. So, I went to my boss, Amarta, at the time, go, Tamar, I'm going to resign. I read an appointment and the salary is bigger there. <laughs> Tamar said, and Tamar went to, to what's that guy? It's American. Billy Hansen, Billy, Billy, Billy Hansen. Yeah. And Billy give me two big candles. <laughs> I'm not forgetting. Billy said, pray for us. <laughs> so I just have me to resign. So I went to the pastor in the public school. But if this thing would have happened now, at uh, this time, I would not have said that. I would go to the public school and suddenly, you know, the work is so big, no? And then I was going for a moment and said, ah, who gives a name inside? I don't know any better. I was even attending a basic course at the time then. Yes, I did. And in the course, in the circle, then little by little, we need to see the will of God. What is the will of God? The same thing also, I suppose, to each one or every one of us. Little by little, God uses all these instruments that we get to see and know the will of God. So if we know what God's will is, the next thing to do is to carry it out. No? Otherwise, we will be like a noisy go or a clanging symbol. It's really Corinthians 1.13.1. Because for us, the body without the spirit is dead. So, apart from words, faith is dead. Thus, believing the truth, having an operative faith, knowing God's will, leads us to do works that are in accordance with this belief that God wants of us and according to His will. But it's not enough, of course, no, to simply fulfill it. So the guy already said, So, oh, God told me to become a priest. I'm a priest now. I'm doing God's way. It's not enough. So we have a new priest there in our parish. You know? He is a religious and then he wants to be transferred to the diocese. But there's a moratorium now. So he, 
Y que eso me dice, pero es para que todos dicen, I'm now floating priest. <laughs> I don't know what it's like, man, because the Archbishop doesn't want to accept the, uh, the religious. And then, what? You see, I, with, there's no mass inside. It's like, oh, so I attend the mass in the morning. And he's the one who's living with He said, well, I mean, have to give thanks to their faith because for me, we are 44. And then in the seminary, only 14 became priests. And now there are only two of us. <laughs> So once we get to know the way of God, it's not enough simply to know it, to do it, but we have to love it. This is uh, the way of God. For me to get married, so this wife is given by God to me, and I have to love this wife of mine. Because we will become one, not two anymore. No? So I have a cooperator, we met last Easter Sunday yesterday, you know? Then so they were married the other week, so I told the wife, oh, how are you? <laughs> Like full the link with the husband. So yeah, I told the husband, what's again the secret of a happy life? And then the wife said, happy wife. <laughs> she said, ah, oh, you have to make me happy. Come on. So I don't know. I have to become one. I have to become one. Why? Because that's it. That's the nature of it. That's part of the will of God. We only do the things we love when we know that. So in stages, this is the way how we, we deal with the will of God. First, we have to be resigned to the will of God. No, only God can be known that God. So look, we have to conform to the will of God. Ah, so no, no, they never will happen. Only God can be known that God. Next, ah, kinangan ka na, kumuhin mo sa kabukutong sa ginawa. And then last, then I have to love Him. There, man finds his fulfillment. Later on, whether you like it or not, we grow old, you know, many years from now, and we have senior citizen here. We notice, no, it's good. Just enjoying life, enjoying it. That's what I said. Man, this guy does have you. Actually, he has so many responsibilities. You see that in the end of our life, later on, you see, oh, yeah. wow, so in the end, it's between you and that. Now, you notice these old people, you know? You go to Mass early morning, the usual parishes, the old people are there. Because they have, as they say, quote unquote, live life. Not to the fullest, but yet they know there's one more thing that I like. What is that? The end of my life, which is God. No? So that means that our will accepts as God and desires whatever God's will declares to be good. And then we reject whatever it is that God does not want. So we carry out God's will when we endeavor to do good things and reject bad things. And in, 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 in moral philosophy, this is the first rule do good, avoid evil. Even for those people who don't have belief in God, God in the reason to be able to say that that is part of my will. Because I attended one class and then the priest, no, the one giving another class, said, So, uh, he said, So, can non Catholics or those who believe in God go to heaven? He said, So, you know, 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 through no fault of their own. Example, ganang mga tao na po as a Amazon jungle, di ba? You will only have a sense of God, but in a very natural way. So you can say very natural, naturally good people. Who doesn't believe in God, but they know that they have to become good. That is part of the will of God. So how are they going to be saved? I suppose natural law. That is also part of the will of God. You see how many God's goodness are. Me, I was able to attend his information, I was baptized, and it was more the faith that other people, so therefore, God must have been is not must but is asking a lot of me. So that's why we need to love the will of God with this. You know? So it is that to live the will of God, we have to struggle in the big things, but more specifically, the small things of our life, our work, our dealings with others. No? Actually, the, those circumstances that seem so ordinary. And you see here the beauty of the spirit of Opus Dei. Because we don't have to, to become a minister, you know? <laughs> or to be part of that, uh, I don't know, no religious group. But we I mean, are attending this information. So you see now that the will of God of Opus Dei is to spread is holy to become holy in the middle of the world. Each one respecting his freedom. That's why you'll never be forced to attend activities. You'll be invited. 
Sok to you, no? Oh, well, there's a guy, I'm helping now. He said, listen to me, listen. He's going to... He said, you know, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. He wanted to go to mass every day. No, I started to pray the rosary, you know? He said, listen to me, listen to me. You know, the answer, no? These things trying to do the way of life is beyond our power. Oh, it's beyond our power. Sino si Mary Shia even said, no, if God would have shown me everything that He wants me to do, I would have died. Diba? If God showed, sino si Mary Shia, oh, you have to put 100 all over the world. To put up a seminary that has like 500 enrollment. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have to put up here. What? <laughs> no, so see, he said, no, so that's it. God reveals little by little the things. No, he said, I'm like a little child. So he said, I wanted always to do the will of God. Not respecting the freedom of every person. So this whole task, no, our formation, is also part of the will of God. Correct. Solution not to pray about his ideas. Try to see so what does God want from me? Specifically now. There are many times that we don't want to do things, no? Give it our own our, our, our own way, our own pleasure, no? but it has to be done. Why? Because this is what God wants. So we need to leave behind no? anonymity. Because our Lord is waiting for us to give ourselves to Him. The way, number 301, you know, Shiva said, don't fool yourselves. The crisis of this world today, in this crisis, is a crisis of saints. Not so many people want to become holy. This is a crisis. You see all this problem. People not want to become holy. Bishop Shin said, give me 10 saints and I will change the world. Did you see? No? When the world was to be changed, no? Our Lord said, Saints, Mother Teresa, Otto, Father, Alvaro. It is our time now. Don't have any other time. Our time is now to become holy. This is our time. And this is part of the will of God. And this is why God called me this world. That I would become holy. Examination of conscience. I often realize that I am in the presence of God. So, you see in the church, no? It changes color, Easter. No? Remind ourselves, so if you notice every room, at least, no? That's what we're trying to do. Every room, in the house, in the school, it's an image of our lady. So that we get to live you know, in a very practical way. Or maybe a crucifix. Every time you see a crucifix, you say, Aspiration, something that says, my Lord and my God. It's not to keep that uh, presence of God alive. So I try to say the Holy Rosary every day. Practice. Practice makes perfect. So, you say, you cannot pray the Rosary, think again. There's a way, there's a way. It is a matter of scheduling. Some people could be their cell phone. Some people could be recording in their car, whatever, you know, but, you know, we don't forget to do things we love. That's why I asked our lady, you know where the apostles uh, go after our Lord died? Back to our lady. Although this is not biblical, but many saints in the old tradition said that the first person who ever get to meet the resurrected Christ is our lady. Yeah? Because with some saying, no, this uh, Damasin and this other saying, no, the third century said that for sure our lady know that it is our Lord. So for sure she stayed in the tomb. You are waiting because she knows that our Lord will resurrect. And it's only fitting but proper for the son to go to the mother first and you know, he resurrected. Of course, it was Mary Magdalene there, no, in the Bible, but then we know that our lady should not be there in the first place. If you watch the movie during Passion, uh, Good Friday, you know? so when our Lord was arrested, Veronica went to our lady and said, it's happening. Uh, Veronica said to our lady, they arrested him. 
And then Our Lady said, it's happening. Our Lady know everything because they know it was revealed to her that her heart will be pierced. Which means Our Lady know everything regarding our Lord. Our Lord must have told Our Lady so much to console his mother. So that's why very good reason to pray the rosary way. How I wasted my time. How I cause others to waste their time by serving in their work by failing to be punctual. But I carry out apostolate among my friends. So there, no? so there's a recollection in Sumbu, there's a recollection in Springdale, no? there is a theology class coming back now in Apple One. They have circles, they have confession, you know, bring friends, bring friends. It's part of the will of God that we have to do apostolate because in our vocation, it's like a coin where has two sides of it. The other one is not to become holy inside. No? The other side is we are called to do apostolate. These two things come and they are directly proportional to each other. The more you want to do apostolate, the more you want to become holy. The more you become holy, the more you want to do apostolate. Our Father said that apostolate is nothing but the overflow of the interior life. You mean one struggles to love God as much as you could. The natural consequence of that is he wants to talk about that. Very much like a person who must see a good movie, you know, Spider-Man, the third, you know, his friends. Or anything for that matter, no? You talk about hey, the best restaurant is eaten because the good is diffusive. Anything that is good, you want, you want to share it. That's why when we struggle to be with God, we don't. We end up wanting to share God with everyone else. So I allow myself to be dominated by human respect. Do I seek to participate in professional and social activities in which I can do an effective apostolic work? There's so many things that we can do. We can even do networking, you know? We can, oh no, maybe we can plan you know, next week, I think, or two weeks from now, we will have a strategic planning just in time. You know? How to go about chatting, you can become a mentor in time. You can chat with the students and give you allowance. <laughs> That's for, for gasoline, gasoline transportation allowance, you know? So we ask cooperators you know, to chat with the one. Of course, we will, we will make a, a mentoring program, a seminar on the become mentors. Because some people will complain that, but ah, I don't have any situation wherein I can do, you know, I can chat with them. Don't worry. Yeah, there we need a lot, a lot of help there inside. It's coming August, I have about 450 students. So I mean, each of them has to be chatted. Each of them has to be taught. Each of them has to be helped to see the the will of God. And so, in that interview with the parent, so I told him, you know, I have an obligation to tell you this. You have to go to confession. It's Easter. as a role of the church. And then, he, he, he had a public acknowledgement. So, kung alam mo na tinood, he said, katatlaw, hindi mo kung hindi mo kung katatlaw, kumagay sa tunin niyo. Pero, hindi ko kumatanaw niya. Kung ito na, salamat kayo. Kung ito na, hindi mo kung ito na, hindi mo kung that's the obligation for every Catholic, no? To go to confession during Easter night. At least once. If you go to the one the sun, you go. So, if you go to the confession, you go to No? Why is he a simple one? I try to work in an ordinary way so as to be more efficient and give greater glory to God. So, this part of our and the biggest, I would say, means our sanctification, our work. That's why we have to do our work, right? more efficient, we try to do our work as best as we could, no? not for my boss. So I always tell people there inside, no? so that's not my boss, my boss is there. I did not do this work for you. <laughs> so I have to clarify my intention, no, I not even do it to please you, no? or even for my salary, that's not me. I can work somewhere else. But I, 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 I saw that in the corner, I mentioned it to you. There's a sticker, but for sticker. The back of the car said, My boss is a Jewish carpenter. <laughs> the was, My boss is God. No, so I do my work well because my boss looks at me when I do my work. I always work with the happiness that comes from knowing that I am a son of God. And that's it. A son of God, whatever happens, God loves me. God is my father. Now I faithfully fulfill my commitment of praying for Opus Day every day. So as cooperators, we pray for Opus Day. Because the priests and members of Opus they pray for you every day. We have an official prayer, and check it out. It's called the Patches. Porimus Pro, Vene Pactoricus Nostris. We're very young, only was Patches with Pontus, Pontus, 
Mi print in Latin, it's there. Uh, before the Common Magazine, ah. it was basically Tim in Islam, the Quran of the Day, like the Betis is there. No? Even the official prayers of Opus Day is there, no? it's all the pictures. You see there, no? every day all members pray for operators, every day. No? We kiss the floor and we pray. So, same thing also, you as operators have that obligation to pray for Opus Day, whatever it is that you promise to pray as a operator. Uh, my generous in the use of my time because the part of the conference activities entrusted to me. Sometimes we will be asked no, by the center to do something. So we take it care of or this guy, you know, he pulled up his eye, what can I do? Well you can uh, sponsor my gasoline uh, allowance of more than really father, two billion as our home station. So I think there is a joke that maybe after the circle, no, with Pete Dimakulanga, you know, you have, uh, you know, there is a joke that we with Pete Dimakulanga. I'm presently trying to attract some of my friends who are possibly, so invite, 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 just invite, just invite. Anyway, if they like it, they'll continue. And if they don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. That is own ways of, you know, you don't know what will happen in life. So I stood that once, came to me, called me in the middle of the night, and go, man, I don't keep that. <laughs> And simply because he attended the circle before, he got lost along his way with life, no? He just asked me, can you help me talk with father? Of course, more than really, no? So, get your problem off, no? Sometimes, you like that. So, our father said, there is nothing lost with apostolate. So, don't worry. Because anyway, we're not doing apostolate for our own sake. This is the will of life. When we do apostolate, it's not ours. That's why the fruits will come, or we don't come, we don't know what time. That's part of the will of God. So they decide to do apostolate a lot. A lot. Knowing that no, we have to pay a lot of our sins. How do we need to pay our apostolate post? Okay, let's pray. Thank you.